Hello and welcome. Brand new video. Today we want to talk about the Sony NEX F3 mirrorless camera and the Canon Prime Lens 24mm and it's adapted with Photo DX adapter. Alright, so mainly the purpose of the video is for my own reference but if you find it useful you can check it out and gain some information from it alright so let's get started now this will be for low light capabilities and flat profile so the first thing we want to do is set it up for the video purpose so we're going to turn on the camera Okay, there's no memory card in there now so for the purposes of the video and the test we want to go into the menu and as you can see we have six options so the first thing we want to do is uh, go to image size okay now I already set it up but you want to go under the movie menu I went too far okay so this is what we want. We want 24p, 24m, fx. Now click it just so you can see the options. You have other options too. But for this video test, we're going to do 24p, 24m, fx. And it's just going to tell you that you can't record it to a DVD because it's a high definition profile. So we just hit OK. And we want to go back to menu. Uh, next thing you want to do. So I want to highlight the brightness and contrast, brightness and color. Okay, so I'm using this just as a reference from another video on how to set up a flat profile. So this is the mainly their recommendations. So we want to go to camera style and we're going to choose portrait. Okay, so choose pro portrait and I have a, an example with the portrait setting by itself but the recommendation to get a flat profile on this camera was to go to portrait and then you see these three options here let me go back So you have these three options here. We want to go to option and you can choose your contrast. So the recommendation was to go minus three on contrast, minus three on saturation, and then minus three on sharpness. Although with the lens that's attached right now, you don't really need to take off the sharpness. You can leave it at zero if you wanted to. Yeah, another thing that you might want to do is with this camera when you have an adapted lens this one in particular has no electronic contacts to the camera so you will lose any autofocus capabilities. So as an example I'm going to take off the cap cool thing about this camera is that you can set up focus peaking and that will work. You go up to the setup menu and you're going to scroll until you find the focus peaking. Okay so with this lens once you're under the setup menu we have the peaking level here and you want to set it to high and then you can choose a color whichever one works better for you I pick red so being is that you don't have any focus control you can do manual focus so if we go back we can demonstrate how you can adjust the peaking as you can see the parts that are in focus are going to be showing red. 
and that would mean that you're in focus under a live view and that's how you can adjust your focus it's not as convenient as having autofocus but from my examples it worked really well okay another important thing to talk about here is also the fact that you have to set it up the camera so it can shoot with a manual lens so what you want to do is again the setup menu and you want to look for the one that says release shutter without a lens so you want to enable that in the camera otherwise it won't fire the shutter and you can't really do anything with it and that's how you set up all right so stay tuned I have an example of regular portrait mode without any adjustments then three others were experimented and you can check those out right now okay so this is the first first test and this is with portrait set up without any adjustments here's the next one and this is with my regular adjustments now we're gonna go and experiment with a lot this is Johnny Beharit D LUT 1D as you can see it's kinda dark okay and now it's an experiment using a Canon LUT which is by Victory it's the one called Sash with some small adjustments so for this particular sample my favorite one will have to be the one that I did with just the regular adjustments and flat profile uh, in my, my opinion is still way too noisy which I really couldn't do much about. Alright, thanks for checking it out. Bye.